So hey guys, it's very early in the morning. I got up super early to film this. So you guys can see how dedicated I am to this channel. Like I'm, I'm really dedicated to this channel. So I'm going to be ranking Boy Meets World and Girl Meets World in this video. So for Boy Meets World, uh, the one that I put like as the worst season, which it's not really the worst, or I don't know, it might be. I put season six. I don't even really remember why I put this because I, I uh, ranked this like a little while ago. I just think maybe it just wasn't as funny or something. Oh, I do, I do remember because Corey was treating his mom like crap. Like, I didn't like the way he was treating his parents in season six. So that's why it's number seven. Because there is seven seasons. So that's why it's at number seven. Number six would be season seven. Um, I just felt kind of sad because I knew the show was coming to an end. So I kind of put it at six. It wasn't a bad season. It just wasn't great either. <laughs> Honestly, though... It had a few, like, good episodes in it. I liked it a lot. <clears throat> so, for, for five, I put season five. Basically, I really don't remember much about the season, honestly. Um, it's just kind of there. It's kind of mid. I just, I really don't remember much about it. For season, or for the four, for the one I put at number four was season one. I... I don't hate season one, honestly. Like, I really do enjoy it. I think it was interesting. But they were just so little, and I I don't know. They were just so little and so cute. And I'm just like, little kids aren't worried about, like, getting their first kiss or anything. They're worried about playing and stuff. So I don't know why that, like, they already added romance to it. You know, but I don't think Cory and Topinga actually kissed until, like, season two or something. I honestly don't know. <laughs> At this point, I don't remember. I need to rewatch the series again. <laughs> so, for the one I put at number three is season three. Honestly, I thought it was funny. But it wasn't as funny as, like, some of the other ones, you know. So, yeah. For number two... I got number two, season two. Um, I honestly think I just enjoyed the season a lot more. Uh, because it was like, there's a lot of cute stuff in it, I guess. Like, a lot of cute scenes and stuff. And, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry if you guys can't understand me. I'm trying not to be too loud. Because my parents are sleeping. It's super early in the morning. Like, it's not even nine yet. And for the first one, the one I put at number one was season four. That's because it had me laughing the most. And it has one of my favorite episodes from Boy Meets World, which is um, Brother, Brother. Like, for some reason, I just absolutely love that episode. <clears throat> so, I'm sorry, you guys, if you can understand me. But, yeah, that's my ranking. Oh, I forgot Girl Meets World. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, Girl Me's World was a little bit harder for me. I, I didn't know how to rank it, really. But, for the one that I put for last, I put as season one. Because there's only three seasons. I put season one. I just, I don't know. It was relatable at first. And then it became, like, unrelatable as the seasons went on. But, yeah. So, I put season one at three. I put season two at two. Um, I I vaguely remember season two. Like I I watched it a little while ago, but I forgot already. I don't know why I put it for, put that one there. And then season three, I put for number one. I just really kind of like the drama aspect of it all, but I don't really agree with like. <clears throat> The love triangle, like, they always have to put, like, a love triangle and everything nowadays. But, you know, like, it works sometimes. But for Grooming's World, it just seems so out of place. But I still liked it. I still liked the show. I mean, not the love triangle. 
But anyway, that is my ranking for Boy Meets World and Girl Meets World. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.